how to buy pre-construction condos, how to buy Toronto pre-construction condos, VIP sales, what's the process, how is it working, what to do, what does pre-construction condo mean, what does a VIP sale mean, what is a platinum sale, what is the process, how do we do it. This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent and Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage and today I'm going to teach you the process of buying pre-construction condos in Toronto. Okay, this is Yossi Kaplan, I am a Toronto Real Estate Agent for a long time, mortgage broker and I help buyers, sellers, investors landlords, owners, cash flow seekers to buy and sell the properties that they want to they wanna get, buy or sell. Uh, Twitter.com says Jesse Kaplan celebrating 2,900 tweets. That's fantastic. Thank you everyone for following me. On my Twitter, you'll find all the latest sales that I have, whether they're assignments, pre-construction or resales and also some industry news. So I highly recommend you follow me here because here you'll find all the deals that are cannot advertise on the blog or tell you in the video about it. For example, this cash flow deal here that we estimate will make you $26,400. This is available right now. Price is $4699. It's an MLS listing. If you need more information, go to Twitter or email me. Um, once a pre-construction happens, of course, those condos become assignments like this one at Kingly and then you can buy them as assignment. But today's video, I want to focus on pre-construction condo, the process of buying these. So for this example, I'm going to use the Galleria Condos VIP sale. It just happened this week. If you watch my last uh, couple of videos and uh, look at my newsletter, you'll see that uh, I was promoting Galleria Condos because I think it's a fantastic project. It's a really good project and I like it. So there's a lot of information about Galleria Condos. So I'm going to dive right in and tell you what is the process of buying a pre-construction condo and I'm going to use the Galleria Condos VIP sale. It's happening right now as an example because what's best of just like real life example this is live by the way there are no edits to my videos this is it if I say something I say it I don't edit I don't go later I just record it and I put it on so gallery of condo so how first of all how would you find out about our pre-construction condo well the way to find out about it is of course to follow industry leaders as such as myself or follow websites like Buzz Buzz Home uh, urban um, uh, urban Toronto.ca and so forth um, what I do is I get in my email lots and lots and lots of emails every day about pre-construction condos, townhomes, homes, you know, in Toronto, in the area, in the GTA, and all over Ontario. I, you know, I get stuff even from Florida. It doesn't matter. But I focus on Toronto because this is the market. Toronto is a growing city. It has been for 20 years and will be for a long time. Every day I walk down the street, people ask me whether they know me. I say, hey, we saw you on the video. Will the market keep going? Yes, it will keep going because we live in an inflationary economy. And Toronto is an amazing place to live. And we need a lot of beds. We have a shortage of construction here, a shortage of beds. We're always behind. People coming to the city and there's a place to live. So all these beautiful new massive communities uh, provide them a place to live. And that's what makes them so attractive to investors. Investors buy these condos and then they, they lease them out. Uh, some of them flip them, but most of them will rent them out to people, young people who come to the city to work. They live in a condo, they have a beautiful condo, they have a great um, uh, place to live. These condos come with gyms, pools, community centers, whatnot. So these are very good options. So what would happen is you, you, would, you, would, um, you would come into this funnel, into this channel. Uh, maybe you saw my videos, for example, here. Uh, this is youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan you can put. It just goes to the channel number here. But here's my uh, video channel, and on this video channel, um, I show you what am I doing here. So gallery account of VIP sale, I teach you how to do it. There's also a video I put of the, the top three uh, developments in Toronto, and Galleria is one of those, and that's the one I'm using today as an example. Um, in this case, I made a complete video about Galleria because it's so important, and I showed you the prices, what's happening, um, the investment value, what the project looking like, talk to you about the developer, about the area, and so on. So, um, the first thing you'll see is e either you'll get an email like this one, or you'll get uh, you'll you'll see it on my YouTube, or you maybe see it on one of my websites. For example, UrbanRealtyToronto.com. Um, um, the first uh, article there is now is VIP Galleria, and the second is Toronto's three best investor condos projects. So this is how you learn about a pre-construction VIP condo. This is where you find out which to buy. Now, there's so many of them, and people, of course, buy all of them. But, you know, I, I hand, hand pick those I like that are, like, really, really good investment value. They may not be the cheapest. They may not be the most expensive. They may, they're just the best investment value I can find. You know, out of so many, I scour it every day, look at my emails every day, look at lists every day, and I came up with these three. Uh, the Well by Tridell, Gallery on the Park, and Crosstown Condos. And what do you know? These are, indeed, the three top projects in the city right now. 
Uh, now, I picked that a while ago, but the reason I was able to pick it because after so much, so many years in the business and so much experience living in Toronto for almost 30 years now, I know. Uh, I got to know the city, I got to know what people like, I got to know what condos are like, I got to know what developers are like, I got to know what bars are like, I got to know what renters are like. So you can kind of tell, and that's where human intelligence really you know, supersedes, trumps everything else, is you can tell, you know, these will work, these, this combination will work really well together. So in this case, uh, the well, Galleria, Crosstown, are very good options. That's why I like them, and you can see they're, they're quite popular, okay? So if we go to Galleria, uh, what's gonna happen? You'll have a sign-up sheet, um, or you can email me, or you, or you can go through the, the video, or you can go through the website, or you, you can send it to Twitter, it doesn't matter. And once you're on the VIP list, you'll get an email looking like this, Galleria Condos, taking worksheets now, and you get an, uh, an image, Galleria Condos, here's an email, I send it to myself, so, you know, just as a test. Hello friends, Galleria in the Park is now launched, event on Sunday, reserve unit online now, only 200 units, this will sell out, sorry, and that's true, they've received already uh, over a thousand worksheets, maybe two thousand by now, okay, for these 291 units, so obviously, there's some about, like, for every unit available, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people asking for this unit, but no reason why I picked that. And here's the investing process, okay? So first of all, you get the information. You watch the video. After you watch the video, you get the information about the property. That's the video I made for you. You download the price and plans, and I'll, I'll go through all of this with you right now, and then I'll show you how to reserve a unit. Once you fill the form and reserve your unit, I call you back and I say, okay, Mr. Smith, Ms. Wong, you know, Joe, <laughs> uh, we're going to send you worksheets in, and then the developer will call back, give you unit allocation. I'll go in the process, I'll explain what unit allocation is in a second. And, uh, you know, on uh, Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, whenever you booked, you come to sign for your unit. That's it. That's how it works. And then congratulations, you bought your unit, you have your unit, and now you buy yourself a unit for $965 a foot. And hopefully you can sell it for $1,500 a foot in a few years from now, and you made yourself a whole bunch of money. Okay, that's how it works. That's how I've been doing this. I've been doing this since the 90s, my friends. So 20 years since I've been starting buying condos, and it's been Thank you, God. It's been thank you, universe. It's been very, very good for me, and I will teach you how to do it, just like I did it and still doing it. Uh, that's me at the gallery on, on the launch park. That's one of the people from the development company, and there are over a thousand agents uh, in, in this event, and it just shows you that you know, people know, people know. So you get the email. And it tells you Galleria launch, reserve unit online now. So first of all, you go, you watch the video. So you go to youtube.com slash Jesse Kappa, and this will take you to the main channel. And there, usually the first video up will be the video you're looking for, which is the Galleria, Galleria on the Park. So there you are. So you watch this video, spend 28 minutes and 51 seconds of your life, um, and you know, you'll come out a lot smarter and a lot more clear on how to make two or three, four, five hundred thousand dollars investing in these, these type of condos, okay? So here in this video, I simply tell you the story of, um, so I'll check here, yeah, it's working, that's working, go to full screen here. Yeah, it's working, it's fantastic. Okay, so uh, in this video here, you can see what I'm showing you is I'm showing you uh, the pictures from the sale. This is the second round, by the way. And then I take you through the information about how to find information about the units. And I run you through the flyers of the units. So I'll give you an idea of what this what this unit is. I explain to you about the tires one and three. And I kind of give you the information you need in order to start making good decisions. Obviously, you purchase this unit will base first and foremost on what you can afford. And second is what's available. And third is your preferences. Okay, so here's the entire project. The yellow buildings are available now, two of them, and there's two, four, six more buildings available later. Of course, the first two buildings are the cheapest ones, and every more every um, uh, consequent building that is built and sold will be more and more expensive. And then I, I go through you and I explain to you what's a master plan community, why I should buy here, and now uh, what the developer, and some history of the building, history of the developer, and so on and so forth, go over the, and basically review the entire project, which is really good. Okay, so, so you get to understand the project. Now, I don't do it for every project, obviously, because it takes, it takes a long time, but that's what I do. Later, I also review the suite, mix, and pricing. So I explain a bit about, you know, the studio, start from this price, the one bedroom from this price, the one percent from this price, the two bedroom, the three bedroom, the penthouses, and so on and so forth. So I'll show you. I'll show you some. Then I review about of the investment values. I show you what are the, what are the, the incentives you'll get if you buy in the VIP launch and those are usually first of all the price is the lowest you'll ever be 
second the deposit structure is stretched so you have to spend less money in order to make the most amount of gain now think about it we are rewarding the people jumping first in line with the best price and the best payment plan and those who come in last to get the worst price and more 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 money first then why is that because it, it's it, it's a perceived risk thing so the people that come first we say you know you you took the leap of faith therefore you're gonna get the incentive the most and then you know we sold say 50% of the building in the first uh, VIP sale something you saw the entire building because there's so many worksheets and whatever units left they're gonna release them and they're gonna raise the price and ask for more money and then people go well I guess I gotta take it now because you know I missed on the VIP sale how did I do it why did I was it wasn't there I saw the email I didn't open it that happens all the time. So people have to pay more for the exact same thing just because they don't take action. But sometimes they don't know about it, sometimes they can't afford it, you know, we're not gonna blame them. I was gonna say that if you have the opportunity to jump first, jump first because it's just in your advantage, okay? After, in the video, I review some, what's called the from price or the sample price list. And what this does, this basically explains to you what are the starting prices for each type of unit? Studio, one bedroom, one plus 10, two bedroom, two plus 10, three bedroom and larger. And those could be townhomes, you know, uh, and so on and so forth. The, the from price obviously takes the cheapest unit of that type. So, you know, you may find a studio, 493, say 500 square feet, starting at $465,000. But if that studio is available on a very high floor with south or west uh, open views, probably be 600000 So the one unit could have a $100,000 difference on it. So now you're going to call me and we're going to sit together and think, like, what is the use for the unit? Uh, what kind of uh, difference will be for you to buy the unit on the second floor overlooking where they pick up the garbage, whatever, or at the top floor where you get like the open view of the city. So is it worth $100,000 more? Is it worth $50,000 more? Is it worth $200,000 more if it's a large unit? So we'll have this discussion and I'll help you understand what are the pros and cons of buying each type of unit, the views, the price, and so on. Okay. The, the next thing we have to do is, of course, review some floor plans. So once I get to that, I help you review floor plans. And here, I just did a quick skip, but this uh, section here shows you, let's go back into OBS. Okay, good. Uh, this section here, is this working still? I hope. Uh, this section here shows you all the little details you need to know, which is the closing caps and the condo fees and the taxes and and the, the, the deposit structure, the international deposit structure, and all the little items that you need to know as an investor to buy the unit. After that, I get into the floor plans and I review the floor plan. This is the exact same process you should uh, be taking when you are looking into, into buying the construction. And after that, review the floor plans and start looking at the floor plans and say, you know, I'm looking at us, I wanna like say, I'm looking for one plus 10, um, what is the most efficient one plus den? What are my needs? Do I want the den to be able to host another bed? Or do I need the den to just be a den? Do I want to be facing north or south or east or west? Different people have different opinions. There's no right or wrong here, it's just whatever you like. So I review those. And then of course, uh, I, I, I take my time reviewing the plans and the area because that's the most important. And then we go to the investment values and that is the video, okay? So that is the first part here, is watch the video. A second downloaded price and plans, when I hit this urbanrealtytron.com slash galleria dash VIP, it's going to take me into the drop box that I prepared for you. This is not a public drop box, only with that link you can get there. And that link's not available online. You've got to be on the mailing list, on the newsletter to get that. And here you can actually download uh, the information. So you can download the incentives, okay, and, and the front price is just like I showed the video. But this is the actual PDF file that I allow you to download, okay. This is, a, this is a brochure, it's called an investor's brochure. And what this does here, it explains to you about why investor and the developer put together some prices for us to show us why is it attractive uh, for you to buy here. Now, that's really nice. Uh, you know, realistically, that's really nice, but I already know that uh, Dupont and Dufferin is the way to go. So. But what I didn't know, for example, is that the community center they put in is 95,000 square feet, which is huge. Okay, that's massive. Uh, the, the park, there's going to be an eight-acre park here. There's going to be 300,000 square feet of retail space. That is huge. And the total of almost 3,000 residential units over eight buildings. Okay? Then they tell us about the developers. So this is good, especially if you're not familiar with these, with these areas. You can see how serious this flyer is. 
and it gives you an idea and then you can look up the companies once you look up the company you go man these are some serious companies I mean Elad is, is a giant developer and of course free development building entire King West right here I'm sitting in a free building right here I'm sitting at the 650 King uh, West right now across from me I can see the Thompson uh, the second Thompson, the residences, and the cross right there, I can see the first Thompson with the hotel. So that, that's what you get in this uh, brochure, okay? Now we're moving into all the floor plans, and here in this, uh, in this um, folder I prepared for you, that you can access through the newsletter, of course, you get every single one floor plan. I didn't put on the watermark. It's just direct from developer. This is it. You know, my idea here is to provide you with the most information possible so you can make the best investment decisions for yourself when you buy that pre-construction condo with me, okay? Now, I should probably say that to go to the VIP uh, sale, which is the first sale where you get the best prices, you need to be with a VIP agent such as myself. So if you want to go into any of these sales, uh, if I already have it open, go and register. If I don't have it open, all you got to do is send me an email or text me. And that's a very nice flow plan, by the way. Very, very, very efficient. This is very good. This is one of the best flow plans there is. Um, okay, the school bedroom design. Uh, very nice. First three to eight. Okay, so if, if you need the VIP agents, just call me and I'll get you into the building that you want to be in. Obviously, some buildings like this one, they're so high in demand that sometimes the demand far, far exceeds the supply five times over, eight times over, 20 times over. We've seen it before. Nonetheless, if you're buying some larger units, and these are not that large, but these are really efficient two bedrooms, but if you look at them, 700 square feet, it's, it, it's really, if, if you think about it, it's not that large, but it, it's just good enough, and the design is just good enough to have two roommates here or, or a young family living in this build, or, or a couple, or even a single person enjoying this unit. Okay, so the designs are very good. Uh, here you get a south south uh, west because the north the yeah, north area is here so it's a southwest exposure very very nice unit and these days i've been telling a lot of investors to take a look at those compact two bedrooms because i think that's the future of living this also it, it's a very good plan very very good okay i really like it some smart smart plans here 800 square feet no wasted space the architects did a great job of designing these units and this is a north facing unit with a, a west view very very nice two balconies Okay, so that's what we do. We review the plans. Usually what I'll do is I'll give you like, I'll say, give me your top three for the worksheet. And if you ask me, I'll send you, because by now I know like who you are and I know what you're looking for. And maybe you want you want like a medium size, 800 um, square feet unit. I'll say, you know what? Um, I really like this plan here. Where Where is it? This one here. I really like this. So, you know, I would put this as my first option. And then my second option, maybe this one. Uh, so I'll go this one, okay, and then so on and so forth, because it's got a bit of a, of a south and a west view, so I like that, I like views, and this is a compact, and maybe I'll put my third option, because I give the third op three options, this is because this is a really nice compact unit, but still a very good design, could be a very good investment unit for, for a roommate's situation, okay, so increasing, increasing cash flow. And basically we review, like you review every single file here. This is another brochure by the developer. This is more of an area brochure and kind of give you the field brochure. Is it loading? Yeah, this is just like your typical marketing brochure and kind of gives you an idea a bit about the project and more of like a general terms, what it is, where it is, um, what's, what's, what's about the area here, what's unique about it, why would you buy here, uh, history of the area, here's the... The uh, community center has been built, how the whole thing's going to be a master plan community, lots of park, all the people happy together. Okay, so that's not an investment brochure, that's more of a lifestyle brochure. And some people like those too. Um, there's some repetitions here, I think, and I'm not going to go through all of it. There's more floor plans, of course. Um, but this is, I really like this one too. And this shows you the layout of the entire project. You can see how giant it is. Um, really, really nice design. Uh, all the buildings are together, and then the purple areas are, are the common areas, the, uh, the that huge 90,000 square feet uh, community center. Um, I think that's probably the pool or something, and the park. So this entire area, which is, you know, a good 35% of the land is dedicated to public space, which I really, really love. So, <coughs> you know, 3,000 units, say 5,000 people live there. There's a lot of room here for park. We can see how small the, the, the houses are. That park is huge. It's about half the size of Trinity Bellwoods. The eight acre, that's about, I believe the Trinity Bellwoods is uh, 15 acre. I should check that. Um, 
not <laughs> I'm curious now, not now, but it's it's gotta be at least half size of Trini Bellwood, just just to give you an idea. So okay. So so the process, I go back to the email with the process. You watch the video, you go over all the information, and then you decide and, and you get you get the sample price list, and the sample price list, as you recall, tells you um, tells you the beginning prices. So 493 square feet for 469.9, 488 for 486.9, 571 for 549.9. So the lowest number here, the smallest number here, 493. Let's zoom in for a bit. Uh, the lowest number here, the smallest number here, 493, would refer to the 469. Now some people are obsessed with getting the cheapest unit in every building. Uh, that's one strategy and that's okay, but it's not necessarily the best one or the only one. There's a lot of strategies. Some people only would buy the penthouses. Some people only buy two-bedroom corner suites. It really depends. And some people like myself, we just look at everything. And like, you know what? For this building, for this type of audience, for this type of what the renter I think I'm going to get, that's the unit I want to get. You know? So for Galleria, because the prices are usually they're a little cheaper, or a lot cheaper actually, the other areas, I would actually focus on a high floor two-bedroom unit here like a nice corner unit because the price here of this unit I cannot get a similar unit anywhere else and because there's such a shortage of units in this area and I know because the unit mix there's only about 25% of the units are two bedroom I might as well get one of the best two bedrooms available and keep it you know for the next five years and my value will go up and up and up there's a lot of one bedroom and studios and really bad one bedroom and studios all over town so you know like but if I can afford the two bedroom corner in this case I'm gonna think to myself maybe that's what I want because uh, there's so few of them, and there's, there's there's fewer living arrangements available in the area. I mean, it's just a rickety home. You won't get like the the shiny new condo with all the amenities and the community center, all that. So if I'm going for the condo, maybe I want to get the two bedroom because the prices here are pretty reasonable. Okay, they're they're about forty percent less than downtown. You know, if you pay nine sixty five a foot here, and you pay an average uh, on King West or downtown fourteen hundred foot, it's that's uh, over forty percent difference. That's crazy. That's a lot. If you know the penthouses at uh, B.I.G. King West launch at two thousand dollars a foot, here I can get them for nine hundred sixty-five on average a foot, a thousand dollar foot. That's half price, really good deal. I'm thinking to myself, man, maybe I should get a large unit here, because in this project has a lot of couching up to do. If it has so much couching up to do, and I can afford it, why wouldn't I buy a large unit here? Because the more couch up it has to do, the more money they I'm going to make. Okay, so that's the logic here. Okay, so that is how you review all the information. And now we're going to go to reserve unit. So for reserve unit, it's very simple. Um, when, when I say reserve unit, what it means, it means you give me an indication of what you're looking for. So for this particular uh, Galleria on the Park condos VIP sale, um, I put uh, a simple page on my website. It's got, it's got the uh, video right here. It's got the basic information about the project right here. And I put a simple reserve form. You put your name, put your email. Our website should probably say telephone number and here the message what's your budget how many bedrooms are you looking for parking lock or anything else and i'm going to get a quick email from you and then what i'm doing i'm going to call you back and say okay here are the units available are these the, and, and i'm going to go back and we're going to refer if you if you need my help if not you're already going to tell me no these are the units i want i want the 1b03 and i want the 2b05 and i want the 3b06 and then what i'll do is i log in to the developer's website which you cannot see and I submit all your information there, including your ID. Um, we know all the information, and the developer will call you back. So we put our first priority, our second priority, our third priority, and then usually in a day or two, the developer will call back and said, okay, Yossi, for your client, Mr. X, uh, we allocated this unit. For your client, uh, Lady Z, we allocated that unit. And I call Mr. X, I call Lady Z, and they come, come to the sales center, we sign for the condo, we give them the four checks, and we are done. <laughs> Okay, so this whole process can happen really quickly within literally overnight, immediately sometimes, or days. I've done a lot of pre-construction in my life, and I love pre-construction because I, I'm so good at, 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 you know, I grew up in an engineering family, so that will always take me to these construction sites. That will go, you know, what you see now is a field, but there'll be like a 20-story building, uh, 20 story building here. And there'll be four stories on the ground with a uh, level of commerce and parking, all that stuff. So now... I learn how to envision, how to visualize, how to imagine what this project would be like and kind of get an idea what is the best unit to buy and what's the best bidding strategy and how to get the best unit possible in every pre-construction condo project in Toronto. So that's what we do and that's how we do it, okay? Check here, we're 24 minutes in. It's a good day, it's a good day. So this is, this is really just, you know, tip of the iceberg of how to buy new construction condos in Toronto. 
there's a lot more. I'd like to make a lot more videos about that, a lot more uh, how-to videos about buying a construction condo, how to pick the best units, you will buy one or two bedrooms, all, all these things that I've been going through the years and I'm breaking them, breaking them down and showing you um, and showing you what I like. Okay, um, you will also get a Galleria reservation uh, uh, form here, and in this form, you'll say, "Dear investors, we're not processing your request." And if I didn't get the information, I'm just gonna send you the information, so you know, like what's your top three units, unit parking locker, what's your purchase price, home address, mobile, and ID. That's all I need, and then just give me a call, and we'll get it for you. The three links repeat right here again. Okay, um, that's it. That's it. Uh, on yossikaplan.com, by the way, every video that I put is now getting posted as, as, a, as a short little uh, uh, entry. It's, uh, it's automated. So when I post to YouTube, it goes to yossikaplan.com. So it, at least I got a record of that over there too. Okay. So for example, if you're interested in 36 Zora, Air, the Airbnb condos, now this project is not launched yet. All you got to do is register here. And once you, once you, um, um, once you register, I'll call you back, I'll put you on the list for Zora, and when Zora comes, you'll be the first to know and the first, the first person able to bid on this unit, sending you worksheets, which increases your chances of getting a unit, okay? So this is it, this is Yossi Kaplan. Today I showed you the process of buying a construction condo, how to buy a construction condo in Toronto. If you have any questions, uh, post the comments, contact me, call me, whatever, it's all good, I respond to everyone. Uh, some people even, they have agents, but they stuck not being able to sell their homes or condos. You know, I'll give you free advice. I don't care. My mission here is to provide information for everyone that watching these videos to make better decisions regarding real estate. And it's all good. We got lots of clients here. We got lots of lots of action coming in. I want to remind you we have, this is actually the unit we reduced to 469. So I want to remind you that there's a lot of opportunities in the market for cash flow, for assignments, for construction, for resale, for flips, for renovations, for commercial property. Anything you want is available. You just got to do it. Take the action. Do the stuff. Call Yossi. Thank you very much. That's it.